Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do an update on a video we did the other day about how Disney and, and Disney's uh, associates were accused of plagiarizing a YouTube creator's artwork for a behind the attraction uh, episode on Disney right. Plus. The Tower of Terror episode. The Tower of Terror episode. And in a shocking turn of events, mm -hmm. uh, the creator got an apology. You did. Not from Disney, but from Brian Bulk Weiss. On behalf of Disney. On behalf of N Disney. The, his Nacelle company and was it Seven Bucks Productions? Yeah. He apologized and got hold of the person and, and made it right and they're gonna give him credit. This. Doesn't happen very often. No, so Hollywood, take notes. Take notes. This is how you do it. Uh, you don't. You don't say that. Hey, uh, that person's very greedy. And during these these uh, yeah you know, unprecedented, unprecedented times, times um, how dare she ask for the money that we agreed upon? No, uh, this is how you do it. A very classy move. We're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe. For more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, over 235, almost 236,000. Yeah, it's subs. been taking a while there. It has been. I but woohoo anyway. Woohoo anyway. Yeah, YouTube, I've heard there was an algorithm change. Algorithm change. Okay, now we got to figure that out. I'm going to use I'm gonna use air algorithm quotes. Algorithm change. Okay. What's algorithm. That? What's that? To what? To focus on these news, in quotes, sites more? Uh, the algorithm change probably to focus more on corporate entertainment. If mm -hmm. I had to oh, guess. Oh, yes. Wait. Pay to play. Pay to play. If I had uh -huh. to guess. Uh, but anyway, that's a whole Hollywood nother. Hollywood doesn't want to lose. They don't. That's a whole nother. No one wants their shit. Conversation. Um, so this is Brian Volk Weiss, who uh, is actually best known, I think, now as, well, as Nacelle Company. And yeah, they've got a bunch of, you know, since we're talking about it, they've got a bunch of uh, classic IP licenses now. They've got mm -hmm. Silverhawks, and I found out the uh, kind of the long way around that they had Power Lords, mm -hmm. which was sort of a knockoff Masters of the Universe line, for those of you who don't know, is very science fiction based back in the 80s. It wasn't super popular, but I was looking because I was trying to get the uh, the license for that for Clownfish Comics. Yeah, and then you found out. That yeah, I found out that the cell company had it. And they had At that point, they hadn't announced yet that they had it. And I'm like, well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they got Silverhawks too, but yeah, they're, they're the guys who do the toys that made us. Right. And uh, you know, they seem like they they actually do um, right by classic IPs. And so they do seem to do right by fans, which I was kind of yeah. surprised yeah. when this when this happened because if you're not familiar with the situation, um, real quick overview: what happened was that this YouTuber, um, his name's down here. I want to make sure I say it right. James Saint is it Ong? 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 Um has the Art of Engineering channel yeah. on YouTube. And he goes through and then takes like attractions or different types of rides and breaks it down, um, what it was, how they work, you know, and things like that. So during his video, he had done this this layout that he had he had draw, drawn up. Mm -hmm. And this is what was in his video. Well, when they did the behind the attractions, uh, the, the Tower of Terror on Disney Plus, this is what showed up in that video. And it's very obvious down to spacing yeah, that it, it was just traced over. Whoever did this, yeah, it basically just traced over the original. It's uh, it's very, very obvious. obviously it's traced over. I mean, even to the place like here, they they have they're not as wide here because it's been traced on mm. the inside. Um, yeah, it's, more style wise, but it's it, the same. It's ex thing. everything's pretty much the same. It looks like they went around the outside edge poorly because it looks really really like jerky, and then they they traced over his his drawing. Um, so we covered that and talked about how upset he was. Yeah, um, rightfully so. And and because it was an architectural drawing, it falls under a different copyright set of, of rules than, say, I did a Mickey piece of art that they could just take and say, well, you don't know, Mickey Mouse, we do. Mm. Um, because it's architectural and it's a public building. Mm. Um, well, it's a private building, but it's a, it's a, a public can take pictures and can see it. Right. Because right. of that, copyright laws are different. So his rendering of it was not under the same copyright laws that like Mickey Mouse would be under. So Disney really kind of, it was going to, they, they were going to have an uphill battle proving that they owned it to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Um, So, I mean, part of that's part of it too, I'm sure. So anyway, they actually, uh, well, this guy came and apologized. So yeah, he here's what he said. Okay. I'll let you read it because I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking. Yeah, this is uh, James St. Ong, on Art of Engineering. Uh, I had a productive phone call with Brian uh, Volkweiss, 
director of Behind the Attraction, CEO of the Nacelle Company. Which is one of the production companies behind the show. Yes. Also the toys that made us. Mm -hmm. Which I love the toys that made us, by yeah. the way. Yeah. The movies um, that made us, which is also pretty Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, he took full responsibility for the Tower of Terror situation and offered a genuine apology on behalf of Disney, Nacelle, and Seven Bucks Productions. Yeah, Disney didn't call and apologize. Um, he did. But this is how you behave. Yep. You know, if you if something is done wrong and you're in the wrong, this is how you behave. You apologize. Take note, Kevin Smith. This is how you behave. <laughs> anyway, continue. Uh, he said, Brian provided full transparency about the series of events that caused this to happen. I mean, sometimes it's a mistake, you know. I'm grateful that we were able to arrive at a resolution on good terms. The Tower of Terror episode will be re-edited to include my name in the credits. So they're going to credit him. We said it would be easy to do since it's digital. Yes, we mentioned that last video. Uh, very nice. Uh, I also want to add that Jeremy Samples, credited for graphic design, was not involved with this incident. I told that my work was copied due to a chain of mistakes in the production process, and Brian has taken full responsibility. So they could have outsourced, you know, graphics to somebody, and they just were like, hey, here, somebody already did this. I don't, yeah, I'll just trace it. I'll just trace it. Which could happen. It could but the happen. fact is, at the end of the day, the buck stops with, you know, with him, and, you know, he took responsibility. And I respect that. You know, it's really refreshing. I even said that. For someone to apologize from Hollywood and say, yeah, we made a mistake and it was wrong and we're going to make it right. Yeah. I, yeah. you know, I already liked him uh, for the, some of the other projects he had. I thought this was crap. I'm not going to lie. I thought this was really crappy of him and Disney to have done this. But when he was aware, made aware of it, immediately fixed the situation, said, yes, I'm at fault ultimately. Um and, you know, and it gave an apology. I, I, he might have been made to, who knows. But Disney wasn't going to apologize. They never admit mistakes. Um, it is a nice change of pace. Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm trying not to be Debbie Downer. And I, I said the other day, too, that, you know, uh, there actually has been, I mean, for a long time, you know, it seemed like everybody's like, you guys are so negative. All you do is shit on Hollywood. Well, that's because Hollywood keeps doing stupid things. They keep doing stupid stuff. But in the last month or two, I'm actually thinking back. I'm like, there's actually been some stuff I've I've liked, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I, and think, I think it should be I think it should be reported as well. And I think what's going on is slowly but surely and they're not going to make a bunch of noise about it or they're not going to make I, I think some people, not everybody, but some people in Hollywood are starting to get it that the uh, anti marketing that's been done, you know, where you attack the fans mm -hmm. first and and uh, wonder why they're not supporting your product later is, is it seems like it's being kind of um, Netflix doesn't seem to get that. yet. Netflix doesn't get it yet. They, they need to take a, a huge financial hit mm -hmm. and they, they have, but they need they need to learn a lesson. But I think um, people are getting tired of the drama around uh, a lot of these shows and and uh, like the, the CGI He-Man. There was literally no information on the show before it dropped. It was like mm -hmm. they had a trailer. You didn't see the people working on the show out there attacking. Oh, they didn't on show Twitter. you their completely diverse writers room. That's no. all women. No, they just were like, "Here's a little bit of a teaser, and uh, here's a show. What do you think?" And they spent all their time with, on the Kevin Smith thing that everybody was pissed about. Yeah, maybe if Kevin Smith had his mouth shut, it wouldn't have gotten <laughs> as bad as it did. It wouldn't have. I mean, I, honestly, I would. I don't think I would have had quite as negative of a reaction to this. Well, no, I. We I, had a good reason of negative. Yeah. Right? Well, we would have still been mad because what they did was crap. Yeah, but, but not it was a bait and switch. Like, they had been honest yeah. about it. I wouldn't have cared. We have a little bit more reason to be mad comparatively to other people because you know Kevin Smith deliberately tried to trash us, but. Um, it is refreshing. And when something is is done right, I think we should mention that as well. Yeah. Um, you know, the He-Man, and I said on Twitter, I said, you know, the Suicide Squad, you know, regardless of what you think about James Gunn, some of the comments he's made, whatever, I like the movie. Squid King liked the movie. I did not expect to like this movie. Oh, yeah, I hated you didn't. It. You didn't want to watch it. You're like, I guess I, I have to I, watch it. I put it off because it literally was the last day it was available on HBO Max. Yep. I'm like, I guess I better watch it because I'm not going to get another chance. Uh, what the hell? Let's rip the Band-Aid off. I'll watch a, a half an hour and see if I like it. I'm like, holy shit, I like this movie. No, I don't really watch it too much. No, nah, it's pretty it's not violent. Really, it's not really my thing. But I hated the first one. And, uh, you know, I, but again, it was like one of those things where I don't, rem I, I could be misremembering, but I don't remember there being a lot of drama around the movie, just like uh, James Gunn's doing the Suicide Squad movie. And uh, here it is. I mean, Margot Robbie's out there saying, but she, you know, she always, says that. whatever. But I just think that, you know, if something's good, like this, that movie was good to you. And then the new He-Man show is actually what we've seen of it. We have to watch more has been pretty, pretty well done. And I'm hearing from a lot of people. It gets even better. Um, 
you know, when you something's done right, we want to make sure we cover that as well. We don't want to just be like, you know, because we want them to do better. We're being heard. I mean, we have a collective we. I mean, all of us that have, are tired of the shit and we keep standing up against it are being heard, or at least it seems like it. I'm not going to, you know, the, ca call victory anytime soon. There, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, There's honestly, still a lot of dumbasses out there. There are a lot of dumbasses, but it's, it's all, look, it's always been kind of this way with Hollywood. There are a lot of dumbasses in Hollywood, but it, I guess... The aggressive behavior toward fans, that that's relatively new. That that has only been the last couple of years. Now, the thing about Nacelle that I have hopes for, I said before we did a video talking about, you know, Silver Hawks. Now they have Power Lords. I'm incredibly jealous. I was trying to get that. It was. You were almost damn it. It's like, no one's probably gonna know about this one. Nope. No, because all the all the good IP and I'm like, Power Lords is like a blank slate. So I went out and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go get the Power Lords like oh shit. They have it. Anyway, mm -hmm. it, it's probably in good hands. Hopefully, you know, the, the toys At least we know the person that, the, that's behind the company will admit wrong. They will admit wrong. And that is such a, you know, a refreshing change of pace that I felt it warranted a follow-up because you don't see this often where things are made right and they admit guilt, especially anything related to Disney. Yeah. But it wasn't Disney. It wasn't Disney. Guilt. Disney wouldn't have done this. So, so I thought it was important to mention. Yeah. And um, I guess that that's it. Like, what what do you, you know, when it comes to this kind of, these kind of situations, like, what do you want? If people actually admit error and they actually start to walk it back in, in entertainment or at least not be so overt in their attacks on people. I I'd mean, rather do videos geeking out about how, so, how, great, how great stuff is we used to than be calling happy. this crap out all the time. Yeah, we used to be very happy. We used to talk about all this stuff and geek out and then it just became a freaking war zone. And We're on the know. front lines, baby. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so, anyway, that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. Yeah, you know, what the hell do you want? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, seeing seeing Hollywood take responsibility for uh, you know screw ups is a good is a good start. I yes. Think. And not blaming this guy. Like, well, it just so happened that your drawing uh, just happened to look like one we were working on three years ago. You just mm -hmm. didn't know it. But we can't prove it other than we said so. We're yeah. a big company. So we're gonna so, wrap it up. Yes. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.